Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Morales. Welcome to this week's Oil & Gas Investor Headlines. It was the unique opportunity they'd been looking for, according to Bill Barrett CEO Scott Woodall. The company had been unwinding its portfolio and seeking to expand its core DJ Basin asset base. Now, its $649 million merger with Fifth Creek Energy enables Bill Barrett to nearly double its position. The two companies said they'll become subsidiaries of a newly formed public ENP exclusively focused on oil-weighted rural areas in the DJ. Preliminary 2018 plans for the new company include running three drilling rigs with anticipated production of 11 to 12 million barrels of oil equivalent with capex between 500 and 600 million dollars. Hart Energy's Emily Patsy has more details on the merger at oilandgasinvestor.com. Its official Energy Corps of America management and employees are now Greylock Energy employees. That's following a private equity deal backed by Arc Light Partners for ECA's massive Marcellus upstream and midstream assets that closed last week. Kyle Mork, former CEO of ECA, who now leads Greylock, said in an interview with Hart Energy's Darren Barbie, he expects the company to remain focused on the Marcellus in the near term, where ECA has 100 producing wells. But he added, Greylock has good exposure to the Utica. No, that's exciting for the future of the company. He doesn't think they'll be, quote, drilling a Utica well next month, end quote. Back from Vienna and last week's OPEC meeting, Stratus Advisors Director of Energy Markets Jeff Quigley sat down with me at the Hart Energy headquarters in Houston to discuss the after effects of OPEC's latest agreement to extend production cuts along with other non-OPEC nations and is OPEC thinking differently about U.S. shale. OPEC's kind of flipped response about shale. You know, they, they are not concerned about shale outwardly. We know that they're concerned about it within the confines of, of OPEC itself. But uh, I would watch how their narrative on shale changes over the course of the year. They seem to th be very much of the belief that shale is not going to be able to meet rising global demand over the next three to five years, that new sources of conventional production from OPEC and non-OPEC countries is going to be necessary. You can see the full interview and analysis of the agreement at heartenergy.com. I'm Jessica Morales. We'll see you next week. To stay up to date on the most recent Heart Energy videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking here.